Hello YouTube Buds. I'm going to show you my next project for Christmas to sell these, which are seashell Christmas trees. The first step is you need a base and you need to collect the seashells first. That's the very first step. I just then wash them, soap and water, and spray Lysol on them and turn them over. After a while, spray Lysol on the other side just to kill any germs and things like that. So um, let's show you the seashells I have collected. And I believe, I'm quite sure I have enough for actually two trees. And there's some great shapes here. I mean, some of these I call the unusuals because these are hard to find in this shape. I believe these might be hermit crab shells. Oysters are big in this area, uh, but a lot of oyster shells come stuck to each other. It's important to pick unbroken shells, and I don't like the shells where they're stuck to each other. That wouldn't be too helpful on a tree form anyway. This one was a rare find. I don't know why that one was so difficult. It's similar to this, but different. It's got that clear square edge on it. These are common in this area. These are all local to Cape Charles area. Some are almost see-through, which is strange. I don't know what happened that these developed that way, but those are neat. I've generally organized them from small, change the light a bit, from small to medium, kind of bunch some similars together, but these are so small-ish, I moved them up, even though these are some see-throughs. The see-throughs are in a few different places. Those are really cool though, aren't they? And I've got my hot glue gun ready to go. But the paint, I decided the form which I'm using um, pre-bought or pre-made uh, paper mache forms. These were not inexpensive. I could only get them in a set of three, but I didn't want to show just brown paper if any was showing through. I thought white would be nicer. So that was a good choice. Just acrylic white paint. This one only has one coat. You can see how that looks after one. Just a basic brush. I hold the top and then paint the bottom first. This is wrapping up very nicely. And it looks like I only have a couple more spots to fill. And then I might add some small shells as needed in a couple areas. And I do not have enough shells for two trees. Uh, so I am overlapping them quite a bit. Okay, I believe it is done. Let's take a look at the shell tree. Lots of variety of shells. I'm happy with that big, well, it's a small conch shell, but it's nice to be able to put one on the tree. Only found one of those. Snail shells were hard to find, if that's what those are, but I've got a few. I used other shells, gluing to the shells, not just to the form to help secure them and trying to think of gravity and how things hold each other up as I went along. 
last step was to um, remove glue strands and I kind of searched for them and this hot glue creates strings of glue. I was going to glue felt along the bottom. I cut a circular shape for that, but it's such a thin piece of felt and with hot glue and difficulty positioning it, I didn't think I'd really get that on there very well and that if it was on, it would just be so easy to punch through it. And it doesn't look, you know, by mistake, and it doesn't look um, bad just seeing the empty hollow part. And I'll put my label for my company there on the inside edge. But no one should see that. It's quite heavy. And I do like the look of a very light coat. I tested on some shells of the clear coat. And I'm just going to put a little light. It makes some of the shells look wet but that's okay. These brown ones in particular, these brown ones, but they'll have a bit of a shine to them. All right, you take care. Bye.